All right, hey guys, what we're going to be talking about today, cleaning the rust off of broadheads. Okay, Hurricane Debbie just rolled through, and I've been out there hunting in the rain a lot. If you're on my Patreon, you'll see that coming up. And, you know, where your arrows sit in your quiver, where you can see right where they sit in the quiver, and that foam is constantly on there, you'll start to get a little bit of rust. Now, these heads are razor, razor sharp. We are still going to resharpen them up, but we're going to get this rust off of there before we sharpen them, touch them up. Tomorrow is the opening day of the... WMA is on the season and we are ready to get out there and get after it and uh, we're gonna meet up with James tomorrow morning at 6 a.m Which means I'm gonna get like one hour of sleep tonight and then hook the boat up and head on over there for a long drive And get over there to do some hunting for the day So but I want to touch these up like I said they're razor sharp, but we want to clean them up So how are we gonna do this here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Steel brush right here and we're gonna put it on here and you can see the rust is on there right there You can see that we're gonna set that on a flat surface so we put this here. I think I got this where I can move you around a little bit here. Hold on. And it should have you loose enough where I can. Let me get this set. Sorry. Okay. What we're going to do is put this on a flat surface so that I don't get cut like this. And we're going to take that off there. Okay. We're going to do a good job of getting that rust off like this. Okay, I take that down. We're just got a little stain in left, which you may not get rid of all of it. Again, remember, I'm down here. Not only is it, uh, you know, humid down here all the time, but I'm also only, you know, as a crow flies, you know, 40 miles, 45 miles inland from the ocean, and uh, you get a lot of that salt spray and salt in the air that makes a difference. And so there's things you got to consider in here, <coughs> you know. But uh, so we're going to tone that down as best we can with the steel wool. Or, I mean, with the wire brush, try and get some of that off. There's one. And uh, just do what we can. But like I said, you might still get some staining. I don't care about the staining. I just don't want the rust build up on there. So we're using a wire brush. Take that surface rust off there. Then we're going to hit it on the sander. Um, every household in America needs to have a belt sander. And it needs to have a grinder, uh, you know, like a, uh, a buffer and grinder. It's kind of mandatory, in my opinion, that every house should have one of them. It's probably one of the most used tools I ever, ever use are both of those. So there we go. We got that set as best we can. You can see now it's just some staining on there. And we are going to try and see if we can use, I got it, now it doesn't matter if you got a cloth wheel or this is a denim, actually this is a denim wheel that's on here. We are going to try to run this and try and clean them up a little bit. I'm going to set you here where you can see, right there, and we're going to give this dude a whirl. And safety glasses first, all the time, always safety glasses, we don't ever not wear safety glasses. And see what we can do here if we can clean that up. I like to control the speed. I don't want to go too fast, so I put pressure. See, I can take off and go fast, but I don't want it jumping out of my hands. So I try to control the speed by putting more pressure on it. It's probably bogging the machine down a little bit, but you know what, I, I, I don't care. These things are dirt cheap. But I want to control the speed. Because we are again dealing with sharp broadheads. So I don't want it getting away from me. So I keep pressure on there to control that speed, keep it from going too fast and getting out of hand like that. And there we go. So we still got a little staining left on there that's never going to come off. It just is what it is, it's not going to come off. We're doing the same thing on these ones. Again, I don't want it going that fast. I do not want that much speed in this thing. Too hard to control it. Now, if you really wanted to get rid of that staining, you could, but what you would do is you would put a buffing polish on here. I'll show you in one second here. Yeah, see, I got it pretty good. It'll come off the edges, but we're still gonna have a little staining on there, which you'll see. But you could also put a buffing compound. Um, I think I got some here somewhere, yeah, right here. 
So you could put a buffing compound like this on there. We'll see, it might even make a difference on here. I'm not promising, but we'll put a little, cause this is denim, not cloth. We'll put a little bit on here, see if it makes a difference on here. And I could also do this with my belt too. Oh, where's my arrow that needed it still? That one right there. So as you can see though, most of the work's done with the steel wool. Or I mean the uh, wire brush. You know, see how I cleaned that off perfect? There's none on there. Look at that. Made it absolutely perfect and got rid of everything on there. And all we have on here, the black that you're seeing, that's actually that polishing compound. So we could take it all back to perfect with that. And uh, you know what? Might as well. While we're here, might as well just do it. So we'll just do that to these two. It ain't going to hurt nothing to do it. But like I said, that staining doesn't hurt anything at all. There's no issues with that staining on there whatsoever. There we go. See, nothing left. That black, like I said, is actually the uh, polishing compound that's on there. So a polishing compound works fine too, like that if you want to use it. Way too fast. And that's it. Now they are 100% spotless. Just like that right there. Good. So now we're going to sharpen them up and get them done. But that there is how you're going to remove rust from a broadhead blade and have them actually be perfect. Set that over here where you can see it with the light. So there they are right there. And if I were to hit this uh, with a little bit of glass cleaner, just to be able to clean those up and uh, take that stuff off of there so you can see them better. We do that. We've got a rag right here. We'll use this. Now be careful, still sharp heads. Okay, but we take that black stuff off of there. You can see we went from that rusted out nasty head back to pure perfection on every kind of level. So that's basically how it's done. That's it right there. If you got rust on your broadheads, um, you know, that's the way you remove them and keep them out of there. Now, if you want to try to protect them and keep them from getting any more on them, what you can do too is use a, uh, a little bit of uh, REM oil works really good. REM oil is a fantastic way to treat these and keep them from uh, getting any built or getting anything on there. It kind of puts like a coat on them. Or you can also use car wax as well too. Car wax works really good as well it, it preventing that kind of stuff but so there they are and then we're just going to sharpen these dudes up and get them ready to run that's the game plan so all right there you go little video for you thanks for watching